Reports are stating that Spurs could make four more signings after Basuma as £25 million transfer has been agreed and Spurs have also made an offer to re-sign Christian Eriksen. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. A report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham make Christian Eriksen offer with Manchester United one of four Premier League proposals on the table. Christian Eriksen is expected to leave Brentford upon the expiry of his contract. It states, according to reports, Spurs have thrown their hat into the ring for their former player Christian Eriksen, uh, who has four Premier League offers on the table. The Danish international playmaker has enjoyed a remarkable return to action this calendar year after suffering a cardiac arrest at last summer's European Championships. But now the 30-year-old is eyeing a fresh challenge after a five-month stint in West London with Brentford. And according to the Daily Mail, Tottenham, Manchester United, Everton and Brentford have all made proposals to the attacking midfielder. It means that Eriksen is almost certain to remain in the Premier League next season as he weighs up where he wants to locate his family for the 2022-2023 season and beyond. Reports detailed United's interest on Tuesday afternoon, claiming that the Red Devils had made an offer for Christian Eriksen, um, yet Tottenham are believed to be Christian Eriksen's preference as he wants to stay in London. Furthermore, Spurs have Champions League football and the former Inter Milan man also spent six and a half years in North London before moving to Italy. Now he could be in line for a return, although the prospect of linking up with Eric Ten Hag could be of interest. Eriksen trained with Ajax reserves in January when he was working on his sharpness before he signed on the dotted line for Brentford. The set-piece specialist has also worked with Antonio Conte before during his time at Inter Milan, which could hand Spurs the edge in the race for Eriksen's services. The pair were initially staying in the same hotel at the start of the year when Eriksen sealed his return to action. Now, another report out this morning from the Daily Express, and they are stating that Tottenham could make four more signings after Basuma, as £25 million transfer has been agreed. Tottenham are set to sign midfielder Basuma from Brighton after agreeing a fee. It states that Spurs boss Antonio Conte wants to make another four signings this summer as he closes in on Basuma as his third edition of this transfer window. Spurs have already brought in Ivan Perisic and Fraser Forster on free transfers and have reportedly now agreed a deal worth around £25 million to sign Brighton midfielder Basuma. In the report from the Daily Express, it states that Antonio Conte still wants more recruits. It then looks at the four players that Antonio Conte will possibly sign within the next month or so. First up, Richarlison. Antonio Conte wants to bring in another forward to offer competition to Harry Kane, Hunmin Son and Dijan Kulusevski. The second player on this list, Christian Eriksen. Antonio Conte wants to sign a creative midfielder and former Spurs playmaker Eriksen could be the ideal option. The Danes spent the second half of last season at Brentford in his emotional return to football after a cardiac arrest at Euro 2020. The third player on this list is Jed Spence. It states, as well as a new forward and a new midfielder, Antonio Conte wants two more defenders and Spurs will firm up their interest in Jed Spence with a £20 million bid. There had been reports a £20 million fee is already agreed, but that is not the case as yet. The Middlesbrough right-back was brilliant on loan at Nottingham Forest last term, and Spurs are hopeful £20 million will be enough to bring in the England under-21 international. The last player on the list is Pau Torres, the centre-back at Villarreal. It states that Spurs also want a left-sided centre-back this summer, with Alessandro Bastoni having been top target, but the Italian is staying at Inter Milan. Josco Gavaglio is a high-quality alternative, but also seems keen to remain with RB Leipzig and could cost £70 million.
But Villarreal's Pau Torres is a long-time target for Spurs and they could revisit their interest in the Spain international this summer. Uh, while Torres turned the Londoners down 12 months ago, they are a different uh, prospect now under Antonio Conte and with Champions League football. Now, following our defeat against Hungary last night in the Nations League, manager Gal Southgate believes his young players will not suffer lasting damage from the painful defeat to Hungary, calling for his critics to judge his side when it is at full strength. Well, it's a, a chastening night. Um, we've not lost lot, many football matches. And um, when you lose so heavily, at home especially, but you know when you lose heavily with England, that's going to be very very painful so um, difficult night for the players um, I feel for them because in the end the two hungry games in particular I picked teams where I tried to balance the squad give young players opportunities and I didn't get the balance right to help them to be able to perform at the level that they needed to to win those matches so you could see once they'd gone behind, the confidence started to go a little bit. Um, and we made changes at half-time, or I made changes at half-time to try to chase a little bit. I thought we were more of an attacking threat, but we were a little bit more open. And um, in the end, towards the end of the game, you get caught by the counter-attacks, then you're down to 10. So the players have been fantastic they've been totally committed throughout this period it's been a really difficult period for them because of the volume of matches they've had um we the um the responsibility lies with me on that but there was also a fact that it was very difficult to put the strongest team out in every game so we used it to prepare for uh, qatar some of those players are going to be beyond Qatar as well. Um, but of course, a night like tonight is really difficult. Um, and it's important that I take that off of their shoulders because that's totally down to me. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Let's start with the Christian Eriksen one. And I've said this on this channel many, many times. I am not being sentimental. I just see a real quality player here, uh, you know, to improve the starting eleven and to improve the squad. And I'm going to say it again, we can use five subs, as can every Premier League team from the start of next season. You can use five subs in a game. Christian Eriksen will be a game changer. This is not me being sentimental. This is not me thinking about Christian Eriksen being at Spurs before. I just see a real quality player who can play uh, you know, in the Premier League, he's got vast Premier League experience. He's got vast Champions League experience. I think it is a no-brainer to re-sign Christian Eriksen. I hope that Spurs get this deal done. Now, the other players mentioned by the Daily Express, I tell you what, this is turning into championship manager or playing FIFA. Um, it really is. And I'm so excited about this transfer window. Antonio Conte is clearly going out, identifying all of the areas where we need to improve. And when you think... Um, you know, we haven't even touched that £150 million pounds yet um, that we have got to spend. Um, plus, you know, when you think about all the players possibly going out the door before, uh, you know, the 31st of August or 1st of September, um, you know, that money to come in as well. Antonio Conte, Fabio Crashy can then use that money as well. Um, I'm so excited. I really am. Because when you start thinking, uh, you know, if we got those four players on that list that the Daily Express stated there, um, you know, the, the squad is really improved and uh, I'm very excited about what we can achieve next year. Very exciting times ahead. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.